So welcome back to some more Skyward Sword. Last time we finished the entirety of the Skyview, er, Skyview. Yes, this is definitely the Skyview Temple. The Fire Sanctuary. After getting our hands on the, uh, wrong button, where is it? Um, 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 the, the Magma Mets. I am professional. I hope you know that. But you're probably wondering why we're still here. Uh, and no, it's not because I forgot that we had to go to Farron Woods. It's because, uh, where is it? Is it this? Yes. Right in front of the Gossip Stone is a blue ruby in a corner. Uh, it's like me at school. Anyway, just go up through here. And like I said uh, last episode, the Gossip so Stone said something about a heart piece. And here it is. One out of the final three. Or, well, one out of the final four. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's more accurate. <laughs> and uh, luckily I do know where they all are, so... No frets about that. I think. Actually, now I'm trying to remember where one of them is, and I... You know what, we'll get to that bridge when we cross it. Uh, oh, I, I, okay, I think it's one we haven't gotten from uh, Betroya. Anyway. This time, we're going to go straight to Farron Woods, so I will see you guys over there in just a jiffy. Back in the Farron, we did spawn at the Behind the Temple bird statue, and for... Hello. I did not know you were going to be here. And you can see our sword is a lot more powerful. Not only did Din's fire make this thing even stronger... But we can hit him at a further range, because our sword is stupidly long. Yeah, I don't know why it, they made it so long. But, the reason why we wanted to go there first is because of Gorko. Oh, hey bud, you probably want to know that I've been, I have seen blessed butterflies flapping around here lately. Too bad I have absolutely no musical ability whatsoever. I cannot even create, or I cannot create beautiful tones to save my life. You don't say. Well, uh, let's get some of these blessed butterflies. And, with our power of the harp, we could have done this a long time ago, in all honesty, but, yeah. Whoa, I think my heart stopped. This is it, the discovery of a lifetime. There's no mistaking it. The symbol must mark one of the goddess walls left for the hero by the goddess. I came across an ancient volume in the course of my research. Want to know what it had to say? Sure. Arrow in repose. Ye who yearns to strike targets from afar, draw the shape so it may be known. Well, that is that is what it's written here. Does that mean anything to you? And of course, it's one of the drawings I have yet to actually perform. Yeah, I tried to do this back at the sand ship, and for some reason I couldn't do it, but you have to do a one-stroke arrow. So, for example, please just go straight across. There we go. Like that. Please do it. There we go. Sweet Goron! So that is what the ancient writing meant by striking targets from afar. For helping me out with my research, I would like to give you a little something. Yep, uh, when I said that it was Petro that we were missing, yeah, no, I forgot about this. <laughs> the magical power of the goddess walls returns after a little time has passed, so come by and help me out with my research again sometime, okay? You can go back to this guy over time, and... Oh, he just teleported over there. Uh, over time, he'll tell you the different symbols that you can put in, and he won't give you hard pieces for every single one. He'll just give you 20 rupees after the first uh, initial. So, anyway. Back into the sealed temple. Let's uh, see what Granny's got to say. Ah, your sword. There can be no doubt. The sacred flames have purified this blade. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. That power is a sacred force. It is a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken in the Ballad of the Goddess. To look upon you is the same great power, now flowing through, your, through you and the sword you carry. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a skyward strike, and it will surely awaken. Climb up to the pedestal, and show the gate your sword's power. 
Sword of Legend becomes known. Except not for now. No, I fear the seal has given way once again. The terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by her sword. I wish it had not happened, but there is there is no other way to open the gate, so it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. Alright, bring it on. This is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. I'm scared of what Gruus has in mind. Um... Well, you should probably check if he's okay. Considering, you know, you got a giant toad with teeth. Seriously, it looks like a giant frog in my opinion, but anyway. Hey, Link! You've been busy. Duh. <laughs> Try not to drool on your shirts as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been wa uh, working on. I call it the Gersonator. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural, you wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttering the area out of the way, then I laid down the rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue that the t I had the talent to make something like this, you know? Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots and I'll be hurtling that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are, you're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on though, that monster showed us a smidge er, that monster showed up a smidge sooner than I was expecting. There are a few final adjustments I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call out to you when she's ready for action. Till then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Will do. So as Groose, I don't know how the crap he made that entire track just with fences, but uh, here we are. At least we don't have fences to worry about anymore. It looks like the seal we put in the first time is giving way. Return of the Beast. Mr. Toad Man. He's back with a vengeance. And he grew arms. A very derpy looking thing still, but you know what, here we are. The Imprisoned Part 2. This time with more arm length. So this time his feet are not gonna be the option. Look at that. Seems like our ugly friend grew itself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch because my machine has a bean right arm. Which he's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to stop it. Yeah, so this thing is going to be annoying. Uh, one, we can't stab its feetsies anymore, so the only option we have now is to land it directly on top of his head. He will try to climb up the platforms at some point. For right now, he's not. So let's try to get a quick j couple jabs in. Or not. He's just going to do that immediately. Thank you, game. Had to say something. Hey, Link! The machine's all loaded and ready to smash. If that flabby sack of teeth tries to climb the wall, I could blast it off here with a bomb. When you want some backup for me, just send me the signal with X. Yeah, we need you. All right, time for the Gruus er, time for Gruus to explode into action. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, you want to shoot his, uh, I think his feetsies, but I'm just gonna shoot him in the mouth. I think that works too, right? Uh. Oh, it does work. Wait, what the crap is he doing? Uh. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I'm gonna take the big vent up again. I think if you shoot his hand, he falls completely down. If you shoot him in the body, he just jumps off. Uh, I'm gonna try to get there as fast as I can before he starts climbing up. Groos is on a timer, so if you screw up your shot, it could be very deadly, so... Be careful of when you're shooting. Oh, come on. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. There is a stupid thing with the Imprisoned that he can do. And I've had it happen to me so many times. He can actually stun lock you with his feet if you get trapped in between his legs. Uh, don't do that. Seriously. It sucks. Anyway. Finally, get on top of him. Smack him back down. He's just going to regrow that immediately. 
And as is the magical number of Zelda, we have to do that three times. And he's gonna... Oh, he's not gonna go surfing right now. And Groose is ready, but we'll give that a second. If you see him glowing red a little bit, that means he's a little pissy and he's not gonna do anything, but... Oh, um, good thing I didn't shoot... Uh, don't grab me, please. Oh, I'm right in front of him. Um, concern. <laughs> Am I already... Okay, good. Let's shoot his hands this time, not his body. Booyah. And you can stab his fingers off, if you so wish. Alright, there we go. Let's get on top. Smack that back down. This should give Groose some time to get prepared. He's gonna start doing this, which I'm just gonna... Um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take the major vent to go all the way up. And it looks like we can go to this platform over here. And you can see on the left, he's already halfway up the temple. Becoming more menacing as time goes by. Uh, seems like you're ready. Nice. Okay, this is getting concerning, because he's just moving all the way over here. There we go. Alright. Uh, this is going to be a make-it-or-break-it deal here, because uh, if we miss, this is going to get real screwy. Okay, there we go. Let's jump down. Perfect. Get back in your hole. Hopefully twice is the charm. Seriously, this guy is kind of annoying to fight over and over again, but... Gotta have some progression with the uh, so-called threat of this area. Mm. Now, Link, strike the ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal, quickly! I think you've said that before, Granny, but you know what? You're old, so I'm just going to be respectful and do what you say. Skyward Strike. Um, wrong way. Hey, I saw this in Pokemon Ranger. Is this supposed to summon Raikou? Is that even the same symbol? I don't remember. There we go. Nice work there, Link. Of course, you could have, couldn't have could have done it without me, but there's no need to thank Groose. I know I saved your tail. Now, let's get that skate of time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. I mean, all you do did is just make him not go to the very top, but you know what? Your help is better than nothing, so thank you, Groose. We. Uh, tff, that was weird. Is that the entrance? Oh, it's over here. I will warn you right now. There's going to be a very long cutscene that's coming up. So, on screen, before I do this, I'm going to put a timestamp of when this cutscene will be over. So, by all means, skip ahead if you don't want to see all this. And if you don't want to listen to my garbage voice acting. So, anyway, in we go. It seems you are successful in imprisoning the monster again. You have my thanks, Link. As do you, Groose. I do not wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two haven't, hadn't been here. <laughs> Aw, you give me too much credit, Granny. You're the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and I put my energy into doing what I could do to help. I did... I, that's the wrong person. <laughs> I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Link, you must wonder just what it is you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit. 
there is much I could tell you, but suffice to say it is the root of the evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. We may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter the bonds that confine it. Such is its awesome power. We must destroy it at its source, or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit, hit the gate with a skyward strike. Come on already, charge that sword of yours with that sacred force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time. Right, Granny? Indeed. Now, Link, go. Go to the gate. Seems like Gruz is starting to build up some more personality and... Let's do it. And this is some Transformers kind of crap. The cube. The all spark. Is this referencing the future release of Tetris? At least on the Switch with Poyo Poyo. I'm sorry. All you squares make a circle. And the gears of time begin to spin. Do not fear it. This is what we have waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Standing before you is a path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, to the very place where Zelda now waits. Go bravely, Link. If everything is as I, as I suspect, the reunion with Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. And it's a long time coming. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang at, hang back here, Link. That stupid monster doesn't know when to quit. And Granny here keeps yapping on about how we never know where, when it might bust free again. Someone's gotta stick around and guard the place. Might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? Nah, forget about it. When you see Zelda, tell her I said what's up. Welcome to the other side. Other side of the same coin, huh? Temple of Hylia. Hello, Impa. Hey. At last, I've been waiting for you, Link. You are doubtless you are doubtless overwhelmed, so I'll explain things as simply as I can. This is the Temple of Hylia. 
though it will become or it will come to be known as the sealed temple sometime in the future. You stand in the past before your own time. Here the goddess Hylia has only just sealed away demise. And little time has passed since the goddess sent the outcropping of rock into the sky that would one day become Skyloft. It is true to its name. You have passed through the gate of time to an era in the distant past. You will have many questions, but for now, you must proceed back through the great doors behind you. It is there that the person you've risked life and blood to defend waits for you. It's a long time coming, but, well, we're finally here. Reunited. You've come so far, Link. I'm glad you made it. I imagine Impa filled you in on everything. We've traveled very far from home, to the distant past. In this area, er, era, the wounds inflicted on the land during the battle between the goddess and the demon king known as Demise have not yet healed. And the fairy tales that all, er, and the fairy tales about war, that war we heard about growing up in Sky, uh, Skyloft, incredible as it may seem, they appear all too real. I can't speak, Link. Help me. I think it's time you learned the whole story. Let me try to explain. The old gods created a supreme power that gave anyone who possessed it the ability to shape reality and fulfill any desire. They called it the Triforce. In his thirst to make the world his own, Demise readied a massive army of monsters for war. He sought to take the Triforce for himself by force. The goddess feared for her people. She used her power to send both them and the Triforce into the sky on a slice of earth she cut away from the land. This floating rock became the new home of our people. In time, it would become to known. Or it would be. It would. It came to be known as Skyloft. After a long and fierce battle, the goddess Hylia succeeded in sealing away demise. However, soon after the demon king was imprisoned, it became clear that the seal would not hold long against this fearsome power. Hylia had suffered grave injuries in her battle with the demon king. She knew that if he broke free again. There would be no stopping him. And if the Demon King were to free himself, it would mean the end of the world for all beings of this land. In order to put an end to the Demon King, Hylia devised two separate plans and set them both into motion. First, she created Phi. She made the spirit that resides in your sword to serve a single purpose to assist her chosen hero on this mission. Her second plan was to abandon her divine form and transfer her soul to the body of a mortal. She made this sacrifice, as you have likely guessed, so that the supreme power created by the old gods could one day be used. For while the supreme power of the Triforce was created by gods, all of its power could never be wielded by one. Knowing this power was her last and only hope, the goddess gave up her divine powers and her immortal form. You've probably figured it out by now, haven't you, Link? You are the chosen hero, and I, Zelda. I am the goddess reborn as immortal. The day of the ceremony, Girahim's tornado tossed me out of the sky and down to the world below. I was nearly captured by the de demonic forces, but I was rescued at the last moment by the old woman who lives in the sealed grounds. I had no memory at, uh, at all of my existence as Hylia, but she explained it to me. She helped me remember who I was and what I had to do. I set out to pray at the goddess statues located in each temple across the land. Each statue stirred up memories within me. After I visited them all, Impa, an agent of the goddess, led me here, to the past. All of this is part of the same great effort to prevent the revival of Demise. Stripped of his true physical form by the seal that binds him, he takes the shape of an abomination. But even in his hideous state, he's more than capable of devouring this land if we allow him to do what he desires. 
We must stop him from freeing himself from the seal that imprisons him at any cost. That is why I intend to remain here in this time and place, to sustain the seal as best I can. As long as I continue this vigil, we may be able to prevent the Demon King from fully reviving himself in our own time. I must maintain the seal that Hylia, rather, that I created so long ago and keep it strong for as long as I am able. With the memories of my former life returning to me, I can now see that this is my purpose. Link, the goddess created Phi and the great blade she's a part of for very specific reasons. For the task of standing against demise and the monstrous form he now assumes rests solely on your shoulders. Back in our own time, you've already driven him back to his prison twice now. I can't thank you enough for that, Link. During your long journey, you've grown so much. You learned wisdom from solving devious puzzles and traps. You gained power by honing and tempering both yourself and your sword. And by overcoming the trial set before you by the goddess, you found true co uh, courage. Now, th uh, now, those, now that those qualities reside in you, you are worthy of wielding the power the old gods left behind for our kind. You can claim the Triforce. Valiant hero, you have endured many hardships and journeyed far in your quest to reach this place. Along your travels, you have found wisdom, power, and courage. And for this, I shall bless your sword with the goddess's power. May it give you and your sword the strength to drive back the abomination that threatens this land. The mark you see upon the back of your hand is proof that you are the hero of legend, and that within you dwells a sacred power. It is the mark of the Triforce. Stand now, Link. Draw your sword. The goddess has blessed your blade, and the master sword has at last, last achieved its ultimate form. The sword is now imbued with the mythical power to drive back demons, and only Link may wield it. Link, before I say another word, I feel like I owe you an apology. You see, the mark of the Triforce on your hand is a symbol of the greatest power in the world. If you can obtain the actual Triforce, we will have the power to have vanquished Demise once and for all. The problem is, among the, amongst the countless souls in this world, only a select few, those with an unbreakable spirit, can wield its might. It is, it's impossible to know the true reason of why the Gold Gods created the Triforce. But I have a theory of my own. The gods created the Triforce, yet they specifically designed it so that their own kind could never use its power. Somehow, I think that had been their own way of giving hope to all the mortal beings of this land. Which brings us back to you. To face demise and give the land hope, the goddess Hylia needed someone with an unbreakable spirit. That someone is you, Link. But spirit alone wasn't enough. You had to overcome many trials and awaken the hero within yourself so that you could wield that supreme power. And so Hylia, I mean, and so I, I knew that if it meant saving Zelda, you would throw yourself headfirst into any danger without even a moment's doubt. I, I used you. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am for pulling you into all this, Link. But you have to understand that this is a war, and a fate of this land hangs in the balance. I need your I need your strength to tip the scales in our favor. All that may be well intentioned and true, but it doesn't mean it's right, and it doesn't excuse my actions. But I'm prepared to pay the price for all that I've done. To ensure that the sealed holds, I will remain here in this time deep in sleep for thousands of years.
Link, I can't say it enough. I'm so sorry for the way I had to involve you in this. But until my memory of things before our lifetime returned to me, I had no idea we were fated to carry such a heavy destiny. Before all this, I was happy just spending my days hanging around with you in Skyloft. I wanted that feeling to last forever. While it's true that I am highly a reborn, I am still my father's daughter, and your friend. I'm still your Zelda. When Demise is finally gone, there will be no more need of this seal that binds him, and then I'll be able to wake up. So I'm going to ask you a favor, sleepyhead. Ever since we were kids, I'd always be the one to wake you up when you slept in. But this time, when, it, when all of this is over, will you come to wake me up? I promise. We now know what risks are truly being taken into this war. What do you gotta say, Impa? I see you've said goodbye. Now you must keep the promise you made to her. You must find the Triforce. Return to your time. There's work to be done there. Do not fear for Zelda. I will watch her over her over here er, over her here. Go now and fulfill your destiny. Holy crap, my voice hurts. <laughs> this is the wrong way. You have no idea how hard it is for me to make a female sounding voice for a guy who has a lower tone of voice. Even though that when I'm talking normally, it sounds like it's higher pitched. It sucks. It really sucks. <laughs> uh, it's fun. But man, I screwed up her words so many times. So you've returned. Then you know everything. On the other side of that gate, Zelda waits, suspended in a sweep without end. But do not despair, for she is still alive and well. True to legend, the Triforce is, one, is the one thing with power to vanquish the demise. It is thought to have been hidden within Skyloft by the goddesses. Sadly, all that we know of where it rests, or all that all that is all we know of where it rests. All other clues to its whereabouts have been lost to the ages. Link. You have likely come to the same conclusion, but I will spell it out in just the same. The key to finding the Triforce must be in Skyloft. Go now, Link. Find the Triforce. No. Whoa, whoa there, hold up. Link, there's something I gotta tell you. No. So, Zelda, how's she holding up? Was she okay when you saw her? Actually... That's terrible. It's gonna be so hard for the poor girl. But you're going to do something about this mess, right? Link, I've made up my mind. I'm not going back. I'm staying right here with Granny. Ah, uh, don't look so bummed out. Do I look sad? Nah, I'm doing what I want to do. I don't know how to explain it. I got this feeling in my belly that there's work to do here. Someone's gotta watch that big ugly monster and someone's gotta make sure Granny's doing alright. It ain't as action-packed as what you're doing, but maybe this is my destiny. Know what I mean? Besides, it's not so bad here. Living up in the sky was okay, I guess, but... Don't you just love the way it smells down here? What? That's not weird to say. Check it out. Zelda and Granny have must have brought life back here... Uh, yeah, must have brought life back to the land here. 
I bet even the weakest, weakest sapling could grow into the one beast of a tree in soil like this. It'd brighten this place up a little, too. I mean, sure, it'd take a few years for it to grow, but as far as I'm concerned, I got nothing but time. It's weird to say that, say it out loud, but that's just how I feel like right now. So, yeah, you know. When you get back to Skyloft, do me a favor and let people know I'm doing okay down here. Colin and Stritch might get a little emotional since they look up to me, but you tell them I'm okay, okay? Thanks, Link. Yeah. So, I wanted to show this for the longest time, but we had no context. This was here since the very beginning of the game. You could have came up right here and saw Zelda. Now, luckily, she is still covered by the amber that's protecting her. But still, that's been there since the entirety of the game. So, yeah. We gotta find out where the crap the Triforce is, and... Ugh, my voice. Ugh. <laughs> Seems like Gorko's not ready for another goddess carving, but... Before we set out for the Triforce, we're gonna do a couple errands. <laughs> yeah, unlike everything else, we got more things to do besides find the Triforce, but, you know... I'll meet you guys back into the sky. Our first order of business is to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin, for we have some errands to run, specifically with Kina. Hi, Kina. Hi. Oh, thanks for helping me carry the pumpkins the other day. Thanks to you, we're ready to plant the new seeds. The only thing, though, or the only thing is plowing the patch that so, er, plowing the patch that's. What? Is, what are you trying to say? Plowing the patch so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. If only there was someone who was really good at plowing the field. I know somebody! Really? Well, if that's the case, I'd love to ask this person to help me out. If you find this person, please tell them to come find me right away, okay? I calculate a 90% chance that this request is in some way connected, connected to ga uh, gratitude crystals. Your dazzling ability? Yeah. Do you want to find the guy? Yes. Um, my voice sucks. <laughs> so, is there really someone out who could- or is there really someone who could help me out? Well, I guess I'll try to keep my hopes up and just wait here patiently until they show up. Yeah, so uh, we actually met this guy in the Fire Sanctuary. So I will meet you guys over in Elden. No, we're not rescaling it for a third or fourth time. Thankfully, screw that. Once diving in on Elden, we want to head to... Where do I want to head to? Let's go Volcano East. Over on Yonder, thankfully the place hasn't changed again. You still got these pea hats and archers everywhere, but where we want to go is back into this cave. We haven't been back here in a long time. But, uh, you know what? We have more purpose here. Once diving on here, we want to land where this magma is. This is the old man magma that told us about that sleeping statue secret all that time ago. So, we meet again, eh? I gotta thank you for your help last time. See, I've been searching for new treasure spots, but I can't find a single bobble or bit of treasure. Maybe I'm just getting woozy from working so long in this heat. Sometimes I wish I could find a job that really plays to my strength. Yeah, something like a cool climate, then I'd be set. I know a place. So you know a place with work that I'd be good at? And it's in the sky? I love the sky! Where do I sign up? I'm telling you, I'm in. Let's do this thing. This individual's capabilities match perfectly to the types of duties expected of an employee at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Do you want to call the robot and transport this individual? Yes. Uh, I gotta use more of SimpBot. You know, he's actually been pretty useful, but there's only one use for him in the entire game. Well, actually, there's two. The water basin and uh, getting the pinwheel back onto the thing to get into the other place. Anyway. Mistress Fi, I'm here, sir. Oh. You want me to carry this? Bzzz. You don't have to tell me twice, Fur. I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long, Fur. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and accompany the magma to his destination quickly. I don't know why, man. I love his weird scream he does before he leaves. He also got some more magmas down here. This is where they start residing. Uh, can I not get out here? 
Nope. We have to traverse this place again. Yay, backtracking. <laughs> uh, I'll meet you guys back up to the Lumpy Pumpkin real quick. Back over to the Lumpy Pumpkin with our new carriage in tow. Kina, we've brought you an employee. I brought the old magma, Zert. Send my best to Fi, Zat. Yeah, he found someone, didn't you? Wait a second. This isn't a person. Ah, oh, you're saying that this mole is gonna pile the patch for me? Come on, are you seriously trying to get me to work on a field all day? Is this what you why you hold me all the way up here into the sky? Well, good luck, Mr. Mole Man. What? I uh, but you well, I suppose I could at least give it a try. Hey, so what do you think? Wow, look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> you think? Oh, there's nothing really. Rooting around in the dirt is child's place. Child's play for us magmas. Wow, one more time, please. Again, again. Oh yeah, here we go. I am so grateful that you brought me this lovely guy to help me. I'm going to ask him to help out with all kinds of things. Thank you very, very, very much. Guess it made more than one person happy. Gratitude crystals! I'm going to be glad when I'm done with these. What are you doing? Oh yeah, I'm going to show you how it's done. So yeah, uh, Mr. Mole Man will just reside here now and... Uh, all I'm going to say is don't dig too far into the ground. If Minecraft has taught me anything, digging straight down is a terrible death sentence. But anyway, that is not all the errands we want to take care of right now. I know it's running long on an episode, but um, which I'll probably say this now. Episodes from here on out are probably going to be shorter because of the way I'm planning everything out. Uh, you'll see why I'm planning everything the way it is now uh, in the future. But with how I got the... Um, episodes scheduled and all that. Episodes are probably going to be around 30 to 40 minutes, most likely. Don't quote me on that. This video is a bad example because, well, there was just so much dialogue we had to read. Like, God, it was... I mean, you can tell my voice is pretty destroyed. I'm going to have to take a swig of something after this, but... <laughs> anyway, back in Skyloft, we want to head to the bazaar. And if you notice, we got a missing fellow. What do you got to say? I haven't seen that fortune teller much these days. You know this crystal ball got just broken, right? I just hope he's not sitting at home kicking himself for not foreseeing this. Would you mind running over there and checking in on him? He, his house is on the eastern edge of Skyloft. Poor taste joke, seriously. Um, I want to talk to you, actually. Do you have anything? Oh. You, you came to see me. I'm so happy. I did not know this was going to start now. Don't stare at me like that. You're making me blush, darling. Lately, when I think about you, my heart, head gets all fuzzy, my heart raises, I get short of breath, and I feel all dizzy. You don't think could, this could be... Sounds bad. Oh, you're such a tease. Whoops, kind of forgot myself there. Back to work. Now, where was I? Oh, I was going to ask you if you wanted, to take care, wanted me to take care of you forever. I don't know what to say. Yes, please? Really? That makes me so happy. Oh, no, I, I'm so sorry. I need to learn how to keep these delirious dreams in check. No, wait, I mean, is there some items you want me to check, darling? Sure. Uh, yeah, you can see what's already happening here. Uh, do I, do I actually want to put anything in here? I do want to get a bottle. And honestly... I don't think we really need the treasure medal anymore. We got all the treasures we'll ever need. Besides, we pretty much have everything we want upgraded, upgraded. So, why not? See you next time. Teehee. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to know what's going on with her. Um, we'll touch on that subject a little later. Um, let's just say that Link is a ladies' man, which, uh, huh. I grow envious of. No, I'm kidding. I could really care less about any of that, seriously. I'm happy being a what? Well, mm, I'm kidding. <laughs> I gotta stop getting into these weird tangents about dissing myself, because seriously, it just looks bad. And this is the wrong place. 
Or wait, is this the right place? Do you live? No, you don't live here. Well, I guess gonna gonna see who. Oh, this. We'll touch on that later. Completely wrong house. Yeah, sorry to barge in like that, ma'am. Um, we never even talked to her, and nor do I want to talk to her. Seriously, she's she's scary looking. Anyway, we want to go to this house. Inside, we see we found the fortune teller. I'm fine. Go on, go on. Please leave me be. My crystal ball is shattered, and without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as though these exquisite, all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over some s with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. If only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Is it not true that re you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently, young man? This shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way to my delicate hands. There may still be others like it where it came from. Yes, yes. Would you search for a new one for me? Sure. Yes. No doubts that you could see the gratitude in my eyes. Your eyes are huge, bud. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that you found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Your dowsing ability can be calibrated. Look at this. Uh, yes. She asks this every time after you get the dowsing upgrade. It's very annoying. But we have seen where this crystal ball is. It's been here since the beginning of the game. And uh, we just haven't been able to do anything about it. So, guess what? We're going back to Elden. I'll see you guys there real quick. From here, we want to land to the temple entrance. Well, entrance to the Earth Temple. Once here, we couldn't do a whole lot of things here before because, well, we didn't have the grapple sh uh, grappling hook. And hey, there's a thing we could do here too. Uh, let me get some bombs. I'm, I'm debating on whether or not I want to keep the bomb bag or not because seriously, we don't really need it. Like. We've had it for this long. Uh, what's in here? Blue ruby, green ruby, blue ruby, green ruby, blue ruby. I'll take it. So, uh, how the crap do we get up there? Um, oh, I'm stupid. There is steam. Magical steam that leads up here. Uh, drop a bomb here. Uh, I'm just gonna put my shield up. Just in case. There we go. I forgot this was here. Huh. Welp, that's a thing that I've completely forgot about. Whoops. Um. I guess we're gonna take care of that later. <laughs> anyway, let's get this gossip statue or gossip stone here. I really thought you had to have something else for you in the future to get that, but no, that's been here ever since the very, very beginning. Whoops. Over here, you can see there's a grapple shot, which we can claw shot our way over. And we can see that this is the crystal ball. I have located a substance that closely resembles the material used on the fortune teller's crystal ball. It should make a suitable replacement. Shall I call the simp bot? Call the simp bot. For simp bot is the only one that can carry these things, apparently. Seriously, Link, you could just... Take it off and hold it onto you when you're flying around, then bring it back instead of calling the stupid robot, but whatever. Mr. Spy, I'm here, Zert. Oh, you want me to carry this? Bzzz? Hey, Master Shortpants, how come you always get the easy jobs? I'll be waiting for you in the sky, so don't take too long. I suggest we return to the sky. Yep, uh, I, I suggest so too. Meet you guys back in Skyloft with uh, Mr. Fortune Teller, man. Back over to the Fortune Teller. Here's that bright and shiny crystal ball, Pizzat. If you need me, Zerbush, Clang, feel free to call. For Mr. Spy, I will travel to any destination, Kurt Zerts. Oh, 
what do my eyes behold? This is it. You found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball I used before. Fates and fortunes, my eyes are wide with the thrills of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Come by the bazaar again, and I'll tell you of your fortune for a special price. Five more gratitude crystals. Getting there. Slowly getting there. Anyway. That is actually kind of nice if you uh, do do that. Because uh, that special prize he was talking about is a free fortune for, well, free. And if you're wondering what the fortunes do, they just give you hints on what you're supposed to do next. Also, before we end things off... I forgot to explain what the Master Sword does. You can see it's completely white and blue, just like the Master Swords in every other Zelda game. But look at this. Our Skyward Strike charges faster and goes longer. Our Skyward Strike also does more damage now. Same with our Master Sword. So there you go. Anyway, next time on Skyward Sword, we're gonna try to figure out how to get our hands on the Triforce and eventually rescue Zelda from her eternal slumber. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.